you are, you've always been kind of a, a fashion trendsetter. Would you would you say that's fair? Yeah, because I like the shop. I never I never liked it a a, a, um, a stylist. You have always done it yourself. Only one person really I let do a little bit of dressing for me was like June Ambrose was like mm -hmm. you know when we did make it happen the cover we had the minks and stuff on that was like that point of view I mean since when Ultra Magnetic was wearing like um, that was the make it happen cover but um, when we did um, Critical Beatdown we had the Gucci stuff made like you know when Alpo and Eric B and Rakim was out and stuff like that all yeah. that stuff that was back then but I'm talking about to this day I still set my own clothing trends and stuff but I choose the way I don't need some a lot of rappers need help in dressing and clothing and what they want to wear for shows and television appearances different things me I always picked out my own clothes and stuff you know and I, I always made like color coordination also some people think black is the only way out in the music business they mm -hmm. just wear like you know you got like a millions of rappers they just you know wear black even women wear black they sing in black they mm -hmm. wear black and i like the variety of stuff colors what what rapper would you say has the second you know to you has you know a great fashion sense like every everybody's trying to be um i mean everybody's trying to be um Like skateboards, you know, everybody wants to wear, you know, skateboard gear, basically. I, I don't, I think everybody's trying to be more like um, a skateboard person, but it's not the point, it's not too many rappers with a good fashion sense. They all follow the same code. What about Kanye? That's what I was getting ready to think of. Um, I think he's a person that has, Kanye West might be maybe a person that has a little more fashion, you know, at least he wears a blazer, you know, stuff like that. But a lot of those guys, they just look like they're just trying to wear, like, what what's they can follow right now. What do you think about the skirts in hip-hop? Uh, the skirts? Well, I mean, I guess it's not a, it's like a kilt or something. It looks like something a kilt. Something like that. It's, it looks like a kilt. I, I mean... I mean, I was in Scotland, but I saw some things one time. I saw some kilts, and I was like, we should get these things. But they was like a, it was very expensive. They had different plaid ones. It was a custom place that make them. They was like, um, they ran like two thousand, thousand. But okay, it's a, it's a different thing. A kilt, you know, you wearing it. It looks like a dress, but that's the point of the decision to make and put that on. But so you would rock one. I don't know. It was like, but they had, you know, they had different ones that looked to fly. I mean, but like you said, it's very. <laughs> I mean, it's a very different thing to wear a kilt. I mean, but I see people out there rocking type of kilts. I feel you. I mean, it's just becoming more popular in hip hop. Yeah. I think I think Jay Z was seen wearing one. A kilt? Like, yeah. That's what it looks like. I don't like. think Jay Z wore a kilt. You don't think so? Can I show you? Jay Z wears, huh? Jay Z with a kilt. Was it Seriously? I mean, Jay Z. I usually, I see Jay Z mostly wear pants. He wear most of them, um, but he wears more of a decreased rocker wear kind of pants. The more harder, he wears more harder denim. 